Hi, hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, as you can see, I'm starting uh, another project. I have got a couple of projects on the go, so I'm going to dip in and out of those that I'm working on. Um, this one, I just wanted to make a start. This kit is from um, Nicola, the paper cameo, and it's called Cherry Blossom. And I was just captured by the beautiful images of it, and I just wanted to make something with it. So that's what I'm going to do. I do want to make a full size journal with this beautiful kit, but I to start with, I just I just wanted to jump in and make something that was a bit of fun that I enjoy making um, that doesn't perhaps take as long for me to make as a full size journal. And so I'm going to make one of the journals that has the you punch holes in the cover and the papers and tie them together. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I found some fabric. I don't have any um, Japanese type fabric with Japanese writing on. I know you can get it, but I don't have any. But I had this beautiful piece of fabric um, that I thought went so well with this kit. And so I've covered some um, board. And this is board that you get on the back of a paper pack when you buy a 12 by 12. So I've just covered it with fabric. And obviously, I'll put something there as well. I just I haven't decided what yet. But I just thought that was beautiful and I thought it went really nicely with the kit. So that's what I'm going to use as my cover. Um, I want to use one of these images on the cover and I'm leaning towards that lady. Um, but I don't want to glue her on. So I think I'm going to do something where it's the tie of the journal with that lady on. So I haven't really thought that through yet, but I think she looks just beautiful on there and then if I don't stick it on you see you can still see the lovely fabric so that's what I want to do with that I made I was messing about before I turned the camera on because I wanted to just see um what would work well whether it would work to do this so this is one of the kit pages with these beautiful ladies on and they're playing a game of go so I don't know what that is but they're playing it I love that color kimono that that sort of greeny colour is my absolute favourite colour um, and with the pinks I just think it looks gorgeous so what I've done is I've folded it in half I've had to shrink these pages down a little bit to fit what I want to do um, and I've folded that bit over because that's where the holes are going to go there's going to be a hole punched there and there um, so that I can put the thread through to tie it so that will be a page in the journal um, I may put a pocket on it. I'm not sure yet because I don't really want to cover those ladies up, but we'll see. We'll see what we do. Um, so that's going to be a page in the journal. So that's kind of my size that I need to work with. So I want to keep that handy. Um, I've cut out the pockets that go with the kit. Aren't those ladies lovely? How, how good those parasols would be if it was wet and windy, I don't know. But look at those shoes. Oh my goodness me, poor ladies. But they are just beautiful. So, and you can even see the rain coming down on that one. So I've got those ready. I've also printed a couple of the um, pockets from, I want to say that this is Romance. Um, because I thought this just went nicely with the kit as well. So I've got those all cut out. I've printed the pages. These were two, what do you call it? Portrait pages so I printed them two to a page because I was thinking they could be pockets or it could be a flip or it can be a something I just don't know what yet oh I got carried away and printed that twice look <laughs> no nothing there I had that left over and I think that is from I'm going to say the cottage I'm going to say that's from the kit called the cottage but I thought that went quite nicely as well so I've got that I've printed all the pages out. Um, I've got some other things that I want to include. So I've got this envelope um, that I've tea dyed and I thought that would look nice. And I thought um, it, it can have holes punched in it and it can flip up. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size as long as it's no bigger than this one. So it could be a flip up with a pocket there and it can have a tuck spot just at the back there. But I thought the great the patterning that I got on that went nicely so that I want that to be a page as well I've got a little bag there that I thought might work as a page a glassine bag so I've, I've been looking oh, I've also got a cd case that I might be able to use I'm not sure and again it's got quite nice patterning on so I could use that 
don't lose that one. So what am I going to do? I want to make some more pages this kind of size from the kit. Um, this one isn't from the kit, but doesn't it's perfect look. It, it matches. And I think it's called... This is from the kit Flora, or it's either Flora or Floral, um, but I'll put it in the list below. Beautiful fan. Right, I've also printed out the Magnolia kit because that um, the colours in that just went really nicely. So I thought, yep, we can use that as well. So a bit of a mix and match going on. So let's make a bit of a start. I went through all the kits and printed papers that I thought might look good. Let's move them. Oh, there's a couple of envelopes as well that go with the kit. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? But I haven't backed them yet, so I need to do that as well. You can see I'm all over the place, as I usually am. Um, that's the way it is. So let's have a think what we can do. I've got this beautiful page. I'm just thinking, do I want, I might want a scoreboard. One moment. I'm going to have my scoreboard handy because you never know. You never know. Um, going back to this one, this page, it will be glued together. So I'm going to glue it together, but I also want to sew round all of the pages. So I want to make the pages before I kind of think about what else I want to do. But that's where I am with that at the minute. That is going to be a page. I'm just debating whether to put um, a piece of paper in there just to stiffen it a bit. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm still thinking on it. So this, I want to be a page. So I think I am going to fold this in half, but I think it is too wide. I know that this is the right size. So I've got a gap there and I've got a gap at the top and bottom. So I made this one just to kind of be a template for what I needed. So how wide is that in the end? That is, all together it's about nine and three quarter inches wide. And, I've, and then I folded a half inch over. So this needs to be approximately nine and three quarters wide which it is and then it needs to have a quarter a half inch at the side and then if I oopsie and then if I've measured it correctly that will be right so if I measure there half an inch I don't think I really wanted it on that side yes I did yes I did hold that down the reason I've put the fold that side and not that side is I don't know if you can see on there I don't know if it's focused because I can't see my camera. Um, but there's a there's a beautiful image just there with a little Chinese lady um, carrying a cup of tea. And I don't want, I didn't want to cut lose her. I didn't want to cut her off. So if I was to fold that there, hopefully that will, ah, oh yeah, yay. Carol's maths work. <laughs> Your maths worked, Carol, first time, yay. So if I fold that there, I want this to be the front. So as we're flipping through the book, oh, actually those two pages go really nicely next to each other, don't they? But I've got my little template that I've made. So the holes, this is a little bit long at the minute. So the holes go in there. So that's good. So how tall do I need it? Does this make sense to anybody? It doesn't to me at the minute. Um, so that is one mark under seven and a half. So I'm going to cut it off the bottom because as I say, I don't want to lose those ladies with the cups of tea. This kit, honestly, Nicola, you've excelled, you, well, if I say you've excelled yourself, it's your kits, all the kits are beautiful, but this one just, 
it just said use me when I saw it you know some kits just inspire you and this the Nicholas this kit of Nicholas certainly did so that should be the same height as that now yep so this would go on there and the holes would go in there and the reason that I'm showing you this is because what I would like to do on this page is I would I would like to use the CD case. But as you can see, the CD case is too big. It can't be bigger than this because it will it will stick out. It'll flap out. So I need to make this smaller. I need to make the CD case smaller. So four and a half. It can't be more than four and a half inches. Could be a little bit smaller than four or a little bit. I'm going to cut that off. I might regret this, folks. I might well regret this. My idea is, I've, because I've made this template, so I know where the holes are going to go. Um, if I lay that on there, I've got space between those holes. So this could go on there. But I want I want to attach it here so it flips. Is what I want to do. So it can't stick further out than 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 this. But it will fit between those holes if I'm careful. If you can see that. So I'm going to cut a bit off both sides. How's that for risky? Let's just make sure I'm doing it level. So I've opened it both ends, but that's OK because I want to stitch round it. So I'm not going to worry. And there it won't stick out further than this is where the spine bit. So that's where the holes are going to be. So it won't stick out further. I can find an image to go in there. And it may well be that lady because I think that would fit in there. It would, that would fit in there. And because I'm going to stitch around it, I could put a piece of fabric here that it would flip with. I've got this little bit here with the gold on. And I'm just wondering if that would work. It might work, mightn't it? I don't need it to be big. And then it's it's like that on the back, which I don't think is bad if you see it, if you're going to see that. So that would go in there. Will it tear that way? Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. That would go in there. Go in, go in, go in. And then it will attach there and it will flip and that will work. So I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I think that I do want that lady in there. I can use her again somewhere else. doesn't matter if they get used twice, does it? So if it's about four and a half inches... Cut it down there. And at least we can see what she looks like and I can mark it. Oh, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. That I think is beautiful. Do I want her to go a little bit further that way? I probably do. So I can centralise her there, look. What do you think? Sorry, am I off screen? Getting all excited, I've put you off screen. I just think she's beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure she's straight. She is. I'm going to get my glue, if it's working. I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue there just to hold her in place. I'm going to cut those bits off. So as I said, this is going to get stitched all around. So I'm not, um, I'm not concerned that I've opened it. It's not going to be a pocket. It's, it's going to have a pocket on the back is what it's going to have. But that lady, isn't she just the most beautiful? I might actually stitch that on the top rather than trying to put it on the inside. I think that would be easiest. And I want to hinge it on that side, don't I? Yes, I do. I've cut that too short. <laughs> told you I was overexcited. I told you. Cut it too short, Carol. I'm what I'm going to do, calm down, I am going to put the glue on there. And I'm going to stick the fabric on there. I can shut that. I can close that off. And I'm going to put that on there like that. And then I could cut it off at the bottom, can't I? There we go. So that will get stitched down. That will be stitched on. And that will go in there like that. Oh. But what I need to do is make sure that I put it in between. See, it's too low there. That needs to be higher up. So it needs to be about, about there. Yep. I am going to glue it in. I'm going to risk it. I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. As you do. Just hope I've got it in the right position. Just check again. Yep, it doesn't interfere with the two holes. I don't know if you can see that. We try and lift it up. So I've got my holes there and this will lay between those two holes. So that will flip like that. I'm going to stitch all the way around there and then this will be stitched all the way around as well and it will be closed so this will be one pocket and the holes are going that side. I'm just thinking this I think this is from the um I think it's from the romance kit um I think just got that bit there, look, that's the flippy flap of the CD case where you can close it. So I just need to put some glue on there to make sure that doesn't flip up. But I think that would make a nice pocket on there. So that when you open it, you've got that beautiful lady there and when you open it up, You've got a pocket just there. So I think that is what I will do on that page. I don't want to glue this on at the moment because I want to stitch around these pockets as well. Um, so I'm going to have a stitching session all at one time and then that will stick on there and it will be a pocket. 
but that then is a page so I've got two pages so as we're going through just in case you can't I always like to put things together and see see what I've got so this would be the book it'll have that picture on the front it will open with the strings you'll you'll see different pages so that might be a page I'm not sure but that will flip over I think I might have it that way actually so that she's on top that will flip that way so you've got these two you'll have that there with a pocket in and you can write on that and then that will flip over so that's and then you've got writing space on here or I could put a flip on there um, before I glue it all together that could have another flip not necessarily this paper although that might not look bad um, and have a flip on there so that's I hope, that, I hope that this is making sense to everybody. So that's page number two. So I'm happy with that. I think these, I like to have about 20 pages. I'm going to keep that with that one because that's, I want to put that in. Um, this one. Now, Nicola said she made this page just for me. <laughs> Nicola, you're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So this is going to be a pocket. You can see what I'm going to do, can't you? I've printed it twice. It's going to be a, a hidden tuck. What's my time on? 20, 21 minutes? Oh, I thought it had stopped working then. So I said this needs to be nine and a half, didn't I? Did I say nine and a half? I ought to write the sizes down, didn't I? Nine and three quarters, nine and three quarters it should be. Yep, so that's about nine and three quarters. So I need to fold that. Mm. Maybe I won't fold this one because I want it to be even on both sides on this one. So with the fold, with the fold, it's nine and nine and a quarter, nine and a quarter. So I want this to be nine and a quarter. So I'm going to take a bit off either side on this one and then fold it in half. That's it. Nine and a quarter, Carol. Oof, that was nearly a catastrophe, wasn't it? I don't mind if it sticks out a little bit more. Okay, so that is going to fold in half. And it's not level, but that's okay because it was one mark short of seven and a half, wasn't it? So I can cut that bit off the top. Okay, so whichever way that will be the front because I don't want to put, well, I could put the holes there, we'll see. I want to put this fan on here to cover it. That's what I want to do. So I'm gonna cut this one down. It will be bigger to start with, so I can use that paper somewhere else. I'm going to glue it onto that paper. I'm just trying to see where the fan comes to. Because I want it, sorry if it's if that's gone blurry for you all. Yes, that's okay. I just panicked then that I'd glued the whole thing shut, but I haven't. I just want to glue that on there because I want to reinforce the, the top of that fan because if we're going to put tags in and out of it, we don't want it to be too, we don't want it to tear, do we? So I'm going to cut it along there, cutting out the fan. 
and hopefully this will work. Take that off there because I might be able to use those as tabs. Get rid of that paper. Okay. And then what I want to do, am I on screen? I hope I am, is I want to put that on there. Now I can see, I can line that up. I know it's bigger either side, but that's okay because I can, I can amend that later. I think I will just ink the top of that. Just so the edge shows up a bit. I know the edges are going to get cut off. Sorry if I'm reaching. So that is going to go on there like so. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ink. Don't forget this is these are going to get stitched around. So the stitching will hold the pocket in place as well as the glue. And that is going to go on there like so. And then that will get snipped off at the edges. And across the bottom as well. Now it will make it quite a stiff pocket because I've lined it. So I'm, I know I know that it will be stiffer, but you wouldn't know that was there, would you? And it will get stitched around and I will ink round the edges as well. But I think what I'm going to do is use my scoreboard just to put that crease in there. Because I think if I don't, it, it won't hold very nicely and marking your scoreboard with a with a sharpie really does work folks they always take a little bit of teasing when you've stuck something on just undo that bit a little bit just to get that ease that down it. And as I say, it's going to get stitched around as well. And I'll just I'll trim the extra bits off. Oops, lost my scoreboard bit. So let me just trim that. It is a little bit faffy, but I want it to be right. I don't um I don't like things looking odd. <laughs> I know it's difficult sometimes, isn't it? Get rid of those. I like that. So that's going to be the front. Now I could put the holes in here and that can be a pocket there. That would work actually, wouldn't it? Or I can do it that way and put the holes here and that would work. I think I prefer it that way. So this is the side that I am going to put the holes, but it is going to get stitched all the way around. So there we've got a pocket on that side. Am I on screen still? I hope so, folks. And then we've got a pocket on that side. And I think that is beautiful as well. So I've got three. I've got three pockets. So you can see these, these types of journals can come together quite quickly. 
there are going to be pages in between. I've got some um, avocado dyed paper that I will put between. I just love it. I just love it. Nicola, you're an, a true artist, my love. That's going to be a pocket there. I have got some labels um, that I can put on there. What else have I got? I'm just, I'm, I'm buzzing with this one. I really, really am. I had some other papers. You see, this one I think loans itself. I want to print this page again because I want that to be, I want to put a, fel a false pocket on there. But that would have to then fold that way because I'd have to have the holes here. Otherwise, it would encroach into my pocket. So I think that I want to print this again and have it, maybe I'll do it as a side pocket and put that B piece on as a pocket. And then it could go that way and be a pocket there. It says, and bring a kimono with you. I just love it. I really do. Um, what were my thoughts with this one? This isn't from the kit. This is from, is it Floral Ledger? I'd have to check. But I think that's Cherry Blossom. And I think that that could make a nice tall pocket. Yes, it would be thinner than these. But as I say, it doesn't have to be all the same size. And it could be attached with an extra bit of paper to make it that bit bigger on the side anyway. In fact, that looks quite nice with it. Shall we do that? Shall we? Why not? Why not indeed? Yeah, that's the paper, isn't it? So that would fold over. I'm just thinking. that the holes could go here, that paper could go on there and it could fold over and be a tuck spot on that side. That would work, wouldn't it? It would mean the holes go here, but that's okay. Yes, okay. I think I can do that. I've forgotten again the size. I've forgotten it again. So it needs to be no more than four and a half. So if I'm going to stick, let's get it height wise. Let's get it height wise first. One less than seven and a half, we said, didn't we? And then that could also, I mean, that can be a pocket on something without a doubt. So I'm going to keep that. So we've got this. Holes are going to go that side. This is going to go on there then. Do I want that paper? Do I want something else? Sorry, I'm just having a quick look through what else I've got. Do I want blue? I don't think I want blue. Just looking to see what we've got that I don't think I want blue, do I? I'm undecided, folks. What time are we on? 34 minutes. Mm. other papers you've got Carol you've got these pinks here see something like that would be nice too dark Ooh, that one might work no you know when you just can't find the paper that you want Would that work? I 
or would something from the magnolia. Let me just pause you one moment. Right, so I've had a think and I've had a look and this is from the magnolia kit. But I think that that colour there just matches those flowers there perfectly. And it still goes with the kit. It matches in with it. So I'm going to use this to extend this pocket. So I'm going to glue, put my glue on the paper I'm adding. I've drawn a line so that, because I want it to be a bit straight, I don't want it to be higgledy-piggledy. Um, I'm going to put that glue on there and then I'm going to put glue right down the edge of that. I might stitch down that bit as well and do a fancy stitch. I have got fancy stitches on my sewing machine. And then I'm going to add that on to that line. So that's about straight. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to cut that off. I might actually use that as the tag to go in this bit. Get it the right height. And then this needs to be, oh, I've dropped me. Hang on a minute, folks, catastrophe. Oh dear. This needs to be no more than four and a half. So if I'm going to do it at four and a half, Hold that. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fold that again. I know I've lost that, but I can actually print that paper again. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm having thoughts. I'm having thoughts, folks. Let me talk through you what I want to do with this. I'm not going to glue it all together, but I will show you what I'm going to do. And the reason I'm not going to glue it all together is because I do want to stitch around them. So this, this bit, I would have to stitch around first before I then glued it together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this page again. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to make this into a pocket. If you bear with me one minute, you'll get my meaning, I hope. I'm going to turn that bit over there. So it's got a bit of a gusset. And actually that could have a... Would I want it to... That's going to be a pocket. It's going to be a pocket from the top. So that would get glued. I'd have to think about that, wouldn't I? I will probably add a piece of scrap paper onto here and glue it there. And then glue it there so it's a tuck at the top. Now if it's a tuck at the top, I can still fit something in there and it can have some lace or something coming out of it. But as I say, I do want to stitch round before I do it. I don't think I've got any spare paper at the minute laying around that I can just... No, I haven't. So I will work on that one and you'll, you'll see, I won't glue it together. I will stitch it around and the next video that I do, I will put that together so that you can see um, how, how I've done it. But then I think that, you see, that's going to have... You see, even that looks pretty, doesn't it? You know, sometimes you just get over, well, I get overexcited with things. So that's going to glue on there. That's going to be a pocket there. This, I think, will be the tag that goes in there. I don't know. I'm leaving all my tags till the end, but it will have a tag in. So before I leave you for today, 
Shall we just have a look at what we got? And then you can let me know if I've confused any of you. I will have done because I've confused myself. So we've got the cover. Needs work. There. We've got... That's going that way. I will put these pages together, I think, for when I come back to you next time. But that is going to be a page that turns there. That will be a page that flips and it's going to have that as a pocket on there. That's going to be a page. This is going to be a page and it's got a tuck spot just here and it's got a tuck spot just there. That will be joined together, obviously. This will be a page just here. It'll have holes in it just there and it will flip over and it can. I can either have it as a tuck spot here, but I'm veering towards having it as a tuck from the top. That's what I think I want to do. And I don't mind that that's not Chinese writing. I just think it all goes together. And I love it. So that is going to be my little journal. So I hope you like it. Any questions, please, please, please do ask in the um, section below. But I'm going to continue a little bit and think about what I want to do. Um, and I will do some more of this with you. I just want to kind of get those pages finished off, do the stitching um, and then show you where I'm at. So I hope that you all enjoyed it and I will catch you all next time. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye.